Hey, Chef, you excited? You excited? So Chevy's going to daycare today. And Diesel's going to the vet for his mouth cleaning. For those of you who haven't been following along, uh, Diesel had an EKG last week to check his heart because he has a heart murmur. The reason we did that was for today. Today is his big day where he's getting his mouth cleaned. It's kind of a big procedure for a dog, especially of his age. He's almost 12 years old. So he's got to be put under, under some heavy anesthetics. So he's out for like the whole day almost or most of the day. So they checked his heart to make sure his heart was good. We haven't heard anything back. So when it comes to doctors, very often no news is good news. I'm going to ask again before I drop, like as I drop him off for sure, just to make sure that they got those results and that they went over them. Like I don't want, otherwise we did that EKG for nothing, but I'm, I'm sure they got it all handled. So he's going in today. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but you know, our uh, little guy, our little Dachshund, Wiener, uh, he's gone through this twice already. As far as I know, maybe three times, twice at least. So uh, we've been here before with one of our other boys. And Chevy's going to daycare for the day to get some socialization and energy out of his system. Get some exercise. We don't take him to daycare every day, just every now and then. It's just so that he, you know, gets to know that there's a whole world out there, that there's other dogs out there. And uh, there's a bigger world outside of our house and yard, right? And then I have a whole list of things that I have to do today yet. I have to finish moving over the shop yet, the new shop. I have to get the uh, uh, summer tires put back on our or in the wheels, the, the rims and tires put back on the terrain today. I gotta to get those sensors done uh, so that it lines up with the sensors in the dash here so that it tells us what the air pressure is. Every time I switch the tires over, they gotta reset the sensors. So I gotta bring that in to get that done. Uh, what else do I gotta do? I also have to start, uh, probably not today, maybe tomorrow, uh, start installing that dishwasher. And then measuring out those countertops we bought yesterday. This, oh, this week is full. Old Blue's in the shop right now getting a safety. Got polished the, the last couple of days, so she's nice and clean. So we're hoping to have the truck back by the end of the week, but there's a little bit of a list of things to do on the truck. Bring it up to top notch. Get it ready for the, the next year. Every year, it's an annual safety. We have to get this done every year. And this safety is exactly what it is. If you don't know what a safety is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's an inspection on the truck, top to bottom, front to back, side to side, to make sure that the truck is safe to operate. It has to pass this inspection by a qualified safety technician. And my truck, if it doesn't pass, cannot be used on the roads. It will be put out of service until it gets fixed or whatever, whatever needs to be done to bring it up to, up to standard. Every year we gotta do this. It used to be every six months, and then they change it to every year, but they're very thorough. So everything's gotta get checked. The brakes, lights, everything. I'm drawing a blank right now. Obviously the brakes and lights, but <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. I was like, I don't know where I'm going with this. Everything gets checked, everything. boys diesel you excited for your nap it's gonna be good he wasn't able to eat for uh, uh, since yesterday at 6 p.m. so he got supper at about 5 30 and he wasn't supposed to have any water after midnight but he's gonna be hungry when he comes home we drop him off between 8 and 8 30 and we pick him up between 3 and 3 30 so it works out perfect with Chevy's daycare. I can drop them off and pick them up at the same time. And they're at the same location. All right, Chevy, you first. I'll drop Chevy off here, and then I'm gonna go back to that other driveway over there. And uh, actually, no, I can bring Diesel in here and just walk across. Yeah, I'll just park here. I'll bring Chevy in here first, and then we'll bring Diesel in there. So we can say, say uh, proper good luck to Diesel. 
Alright, Chevy, you have a good day at daycare, okay? You have fun. Diesel will be right in the next building, right beside you there, okay? So make sure you think about him today. He's gonna be having a bit of a procedure done. Right, Diesel? You'll be sleeping though, don't worry. All right, so we brought Chevy inside and now it's time for Diesel. Oh, I'm getting a little more worried now. <laughs> this is a big deal, man. I'm gonna have such a nice smile when we're done. Oh, don't be shy, don't be shy. Come on, hold your head up, hold your head up. Be a proud man. You hold your head up high, okay? You'll be just fine. All right? I think you're just telling yourself that, aren't you? I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to be fine. You gotta convince yourself that I'm going to be fine. Yeah, you're gonna go for a nice long nap. Can I see your teeth? Can I see your teeth? Oh yeah, those are gonna be nice and clean. Hopefully they don't need to pull any, but... Okay. All right, nope, Diesel, we're going to the other building. Hold on. Okay, no, nope, Chevy went in that building. We're going in this building. Okay. That was harder than I thought. <laughs> ah. I'm okay. I'm okay. He'll be okay. I'll be okay. This is his first, like, big surgery or procedure or anything. He's been so healthy his whole life. I've never had to worry about him, really. Uh, and he, he doesn't have any health problems other than he has a heart murmur. So there's that. That's what I'm worried about. So, uh, the vet here, uh, is going to make sure that he looks over everything, everything again before they put him under. Make sure that uh, everything is, looks good and as it should be, he's probably going to give me a call. Which reminds me, just got to make sure my ringers are on. And then he's going to take a look at everything in his mouth. See if any teeth need to be pulled. For each tooth that gets pulled, uh, there's a charge for each one, so he's got to call me and tell me how many he thinks need, needs to be pulled and get the green light from me. And uh, then he'll go ahead and do that. Obviously, I'll give him the green light to do whatever uh, is necessary. And uh, Diesel's going to be going for a nap once once they're sure that everything is good. I, I made sure to double check and make sure I'm like, don't put him under until you verify. Make double sure on that EKG. He's got a heart murmur. He has a heart murmur, so they know what they're doing. They're professionals. He's the doctor, right? Doctors know what they're doing. He's been my boy. <laughs> Try not to think about it too much. Okay. Okay, let's go distract our brain and let's go get the winter tires off of here and put the summer tires back on. I'm doing it a little late this year, I know. I know. They're not studded, so it's okay. It's illegal to have studded tires on your vehicle after April, I believe. End of April or something. But these aren't studded. They're just winter tires. You can have them on year-round, but they're softer, so they'll wear down really quickly in summer when the asphalt gets really hot and you're making corners and stuff. So you want to take them off, obviously. Usually sooner than this. Life is busy. Especially with a newborn at home. And all of our dogs to take care of and worry about. Man. He'll be okay. Wiener's gone through this twice, right? And if Wiener can do it twice, Diesel can do it once. For sure. Diesel can do it five times if Wiener can do it twice, right? <laughs> uh, I know how Britt felt. It was hard for her last time to leave him at the vet knowing that, you know, he's going to be put under. And as an old guy being put under in a, on an ana anesthetic is a little bit riskier than, you know, a young healthy dog. But, you know, he's an old healthy dog, right? He's, he's going to be good. He's in good hands. He's in good, good hands. I'm going to try not to think about it too much. Let's, let's go and, like I said, let's go distract ourselves. Let's keep busy. Go we'll get the tires from the shop and uh, start on that. Those are the tires we're looking for. And then, once we're done with that, I have to finish moving over a few things yet. We've pretty much got everything. I've got all the big stuff moved over the other day. I've got to finish moving everything over into this newer shop. And 
sand starts settling in, got to put the uh, lines down on the floor again for parking so that I can get old blue in here nice and straight. And the main reason I switch shops, well, first of all, this one's bigger, uh, but this floor drain, the other one did not have a floor drain. So in wintertime, all the snow would melt off my truck and just sit on the floor. So I park it in the shop overnight and first thing in the morning, as soon as I got up, I'd have to rush over to the shop and use my floor squeegee and quickly squeegee all of the water out. And I had to make sure that none of it got anywhere near our, you know, our personal stuff. That's all the storage for our house. That's going to be going into our, our new house. Once we get a new house, eventually, uh, I'm not sure when that'll happen yet. As soon as we can, I'll say that. We gotta make sure that we have a sizable down payment so that my uh, monthly mortgage payments aren't, you know, sky high, so that I can still afford to, you know, stay home every now and then and spend time with my kids and my family. So that'll happen. For now, we have everything we need in the house that we have. It's a little bit small and tight, but we're making it work. Uh, it, it's just fine. We'll have a new house one day. Uh, that's that'll all like go into our storage at our house then right because this this will probably all fit Into the storage room of the house that we buy. Maybe it'll go under the stairs You know most houses have storage the one we're in now does not we own the house we have now We don't rent so we got a lot of equity in it already uh, We'll get a little bit more equity in the house. We're redoing the countertops now. Now uh, we're redoing the bathroom slightly we're uh, redoing the shower and bathtub. That's going to be new. Now we've put in a crawl space dehumidifier underneath there to keep the humidity levels, and that solved that problem. The humidity levels are just perfect now. We put in an air conditioner when we first moved in, top of the line air conditioner. We put in a new 60 gallon hot water tank. We put in a new washer and dryer. We put in a new window on the front of the house. So we've, we've done quite a bit of work on the house already. We've made it what we want it to be. Now we're gonna sit and enjoy it for a little bit. While we have Theo, we're fine. Just having a two bedroom house, that's fine. But uh, you know, once another one is on the way, we're gonna really have to start thinking hard about getting a bigger house. For now, we're okay. But what I was saying is that the other shop didn't have this floor drain. And I've already tested it, put water like on the floor and it all runs straight to the drain. So thank goodness that'll solve a lot of problems in winter time and make it a lot easier for me to maintain. And uh, I've got to hang up all my, uh, my wall art again. This shop has the walls mudded and all I'd have to do is sand it and I can paint it. I'm not going to worry about that right now though. I'm just going to stay just as it is for an indefinite amount of time. I would love it to be nicely painted, but yeah. So that's not at the top of my to-do list at all. It's not not even near the top. It's like somewhere near the bottom right now <laughs> It's so different coming in here now <laughs> Right So empty You can definitely tell that this one's smaller now. I I couldn't tell the difference when I fir first went to go look at the the new shop I was like, well, it doesn't look that much bigger is it, is it now that I have this one empty and I'm moving it into that one you can definitely tell that one is deeper and wider. One good thing about that, thinking ahead for the future here, right? Cause I'm stretching my wheelbase. Uh, the maximum length I'm allowed to have for my entire unit, truck and trailer is 75 feet in Canada. It's like 75.2. They measure it in meters or something like that. It's whatever, 75 feet is what I'm allowed to have. And right now, with my trailer attached and my fifth wheel all the way back, I'm sitting at 72 feet. Pardon me, 73 feet. I have two feet available up to my 75 foot limit. Plus what I can do is once I stretch my wheelbase, I can move my fifth wheel forward a foot, giving me another foot. So I could technically add three feet to my frame and still be legal for my overall length in Canada. The maximum length from the front axle to the rear axle, my wheelbase is I believe 7.2 meters, which equals, I correct me if I'm wrong, 280 inches. Do I have my phone with me? I don't have my phone with me. One second, I gotta have my phone with me. The, the vet is gonna call. What am I doing? I left it in the truck. No, I didn't, it's right here. Ha! Smarter than you thought. Smarter than I thought. Smarter than you thought too. Okay, let's say 7.2 meters. Meters to feet, 
23 feet, oh, it to inches. Inches. I don't know. 283.465 inches, yeah. So I can have a maximum wheelbase in Canada legally of 283 inches. Right now my wheelbase is 244 inches. So I could, 44, 54, 64, 74, I could add like 36, Man, my math is bad right now. You know what I'm talking about. I could add a considerable amount of length to my frame. Now, the reason we stretch our frames out is, first of all, to look cool. I'm just kidding, but serious, it looks better. Uh, but also for ride comfort. When you're going over bridge connections and over bumps, the longer the wheelbase, the smoother the ride. And of course, people are gonna come back and say, well, what about getting into tight docks? I already drive a W900, it's already, hard getting into tight docks. What's all, what, so we make it a little bit harder. At least you look good flying down the highway, right? <laughs> you don't buy a W900 for convenience and fuel efficiency, okay? This is not the reason you buy a W900 or a Peterbilt 379, 389, or this new 589 that they're releasing now. What do you guys think of that? The 589, they pretty much took the, what is it, the 583? The short nose and they just put a long nose on it so the windshield is like curved outwards the dash is like a it, it's totally different i'm not a fan of the the new peterbilt 589s i don't hate it but i definitely like the 389s a lot better a lot better just like i like the w900 a lot better than i like the w990 they keep trying to modernize things and make it better and it's already awesome you don't need to make it better stop messing with it it's a good thing like my, my Kenworth is a 2008. I can use parts from like a 1999 or a 2023 W900 and they're pretty much identical. The dash panels and interior changed a little bit around 2007 to 2008. I think mine was the first year where they had the new dash panel. So the inside's a little different, but that was, whoa, 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 hold your horses Kenworth, right? That was a big change already. But uh, just, just you, ha you have a good thing. The 389s and the w 900 you have a good thing. Let's try not to mess with it too much. Anyways, what I was getting at is with the, the bigger shop, when I stretch the wheelbase, I'll still be able to fit it in, no problem, and have room to get around, work with, work with it, or work on it, and have room for my storage for my other stuff as well, right? Because with the 280 inch wheelbase in here, what's that? Where'd these springs come from? What in tarnation? Did you guys see that? This spring just fell from the... What? What just happened? Where did you come from? I stepped on something over here. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was this thing. I stepped on this bag by accident. I don't know what this is. Well, it's for the dishwasher. Is it? Yes, yeah, for the dishwasher. <gasps> Did I step on a part and break it? What's this? I don't know what this spring is for. Oh, there's another piece. I have no idea what just happened. A spring fell from the ceiling. I need to clean this floor. Weird. What was I talking about? Anyways, I've been babbling again. Bibble babbling. So a 280 inch wheelbase in this shop would bring the nose of my truck if I have it with like maybe a foot behind it just so that I can just barely walk behind it it would bring it past this line to about here and I wouldn't even be able to open the hood in my shop so thinking ahead it's not the reason I'm moving to a different shop but it's definitely going to help when that frame extension comes because I need to be able to open my hood with the door closed when it's minus 30 outside I need to be able to work on the truck when it's cold where did that spring come from it's, just... it's rain and springs in here Spring is in the air. What's going on? You saw that, right? I'm going nuts. I know what happened now. I know what happened. This spring is from my motorcycle stands. I brought them to the other shop already. This must have fallen out and it was sitting on the ground here and I wasn't watching where I was going and I stepped on it just the right way that it went bang and landed over there and then freaked me out for the next five minutes. Huh. Well, it's official. In my shop, spring is in the air. Gotta make sure I don't lose this. 
ओके सो दैट वाज़ द वेट कॉलिंग मी अबाउट डीजल he did just great. He did just great. He's recovering right now. I can pick him up in a few hours. They're going to monitor him and uh, make sure everything else went well or it goes well. He had one tooth removed. It was one of his smaller premolars, they said, and it was fractured. So they pulled that out. So we're going to be sent home later this afternoon with some antibiotics and pain meds, I'm guessing. And they just went over what to expect uh, in the next couple of days because he's going to be a little bit off because he just, you know, had a tooth pulled and went under anesthetics for, actually that wasn't even that long, a couple of hours. I thought they'd put him under for longer, but the, the vet knows what they're doing and obviously he or she is very good at what they do. So, all right, I can, I can worry less now. He's doing okay and he's recovering. Can't pick him up yet now, or, or can't pick him up yet, but soon. And uh, I asked about the results of the EKG. I wanted more in-depth uh, you know, review of what they found. Uh, he's going to call me, or he or she, I don't know who the vet is, the doctor who is in today. Uh, they have some male and female doctors there. I'm not sure which one uh, did the procedure. But the doctor's going to call me this afternoon and go over all the details and interpret all the doctor speak to me so I can understand and uh, figure out what's going on with his heart and how his heart is doing. Other than that, everything looks good. I can continue working now. We've almost got this shop cleared out. I just gotta do the walls, obviously. I'm saving that for last, once everything's out of here. and I'll Pile that all in a box and zip it over to the other shop. And I won't be setting them up right away, I don't think. But uh, eventually, as time goes on, we'll put all the stuff back up. And I think we have a banner coming from Howes as well. Howes Products, I'm still waiting for that to come in. I'm gonna put that up in the new shop. Well, that's enough for today. Got everything moved over now. All I have to do is clean out like the floors and just actually clean the, the old shop. So I leave it clean for the next person. Got everything in here. Now I need to organize it. And put the lines on the floor for Old Blue. Old Blue will be here in a couple of days. Safety is supposed to take the rest of this week. But uh, might have might have it in here by the next weekend. We'll see. We'll probably get going the following Monday is what I'm thinking. We're here to pick up diesel. Diesel and Chevy, <laughs> not just diesel. I'm gonna pick up diesel first, get him in the car, and then go and uh, pick up Chevy, and then we'll all go home. So we'll see how he's doing. Jack, it's a little chilly out today. Diesel. Looks like he's doing fine. He's got a little uh, patch on his front leg there from his IV, I'm guessing. We'll take a look at it at home. Come on, let's go home. Well, let's go get Chevy first. So how was your nap? <laughs> oh, he's doing just fine. Aren't you? Yeah? You have a good time? Is that the right way to say it? Oh, you got all kinds of gunk around your eyes. Oh. Yeah. Is the doctor gentle? Yeah, he was. There we go. Got it. You look good. All right. Okay. So your brother is right next door. Yeah, you did so good. Ooh, look how clean those are. Out one driveway and in the next. Chevy got a bit of a free bath today because apparently he was rolling around in the poops. He's smelling on diesel. Yeah, I smell like a doctor. He does. It's true. And there's a letter from the uh, from the daycare. We missed Chevy. He is the biggest sweetheart. He did roll in some poop. LOL. <laughs> but we gave him a quick bath to clean him up. That was nice of them. We hope to see him again soon. 
Chevy, you rolling around in poop? Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> okay, we got diesel. We got Chevy. Let's go home. We got a lot of work done at the shop today. Got everything moved over. All I got to do is go back and wash the floors in the old shop. I think I told you that already. And then that, oh, I got to go hand in the keys then by the end of the month. And uh, then that's that. We have officially moved. And then I have to organize the new shop, which is probably never going to happen. Somewhat organized, you know. I've got to make it look like everything is where it's supposed to be. Just have to find out where supposed to be is <laughs> and make it look like it's there. <laughs> Off we go. So Diesel, how you feeling? How you feeling? My seventy-five percent, man. Getting you. Look at that. You got a fancy haircut. Very nice. Matches your other one from uh, last week. Can I show him? <laughs> you just relax, man. You just relax. I'll stop bugging you. Look at this burger over here. Look at the size of that thing. Now that's a burger. A turkey burger. A real burger. Look at that thing. How am I even going to bite that? Look at that. Look at that. Here's my hand. Here's my hand for uh, reference. It's just Huge. fluffy because of the lettuce. That, uh, that's, that's fluffy? It's a fluffy burger? It's a fluffy turkey burger. It's not, it's not, it's just a fluffy burger. It's gonna be delicious. Just hanging out, wide awake. <laughs> wide awake? Really? And then what? So that's it for today. Diesel hasn't had much of an appetite since he got back from the doctor, so hopefully that will improve tomorrow. But thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.